Breaking news coming in right now, viewers. The Biden administration has notified the Congress of its decision to approve the sale of MH-60R multi-mission helicopter equipment and the related ones at an estimated cost of... Uh, 1.17 billion US dollars. Uh, that's the big breaking news we have right now. US approving that defense deal with India. That's uh, the biggest update we're getting in right now. Coming in from uh, America as we speak. An important uh, development coming in. MH60R. A very crucial deal for uh, India. Of course, uh, the MH60. Seahawk, very important. US has approved that sale to India. It's good news coming in for uh, India. Proposed sale to improve India's capability to deter the current and future threats by upgrading its anti submarine warfare capabilities. Was, uh, this morning, all eyes were on the bail petition hearing of uh, Chinmoy Krishna Das in Bangladesh, but uh, that did not happen. The case has been postponed now to the 2nd of uh, January. Why? Because there was no lawyer that was available to represent him. And why was there no lawyer? Because 51 lawyers viewers were advocating for him and they were reportedly attacked by radicals. Their chambers were vandalized, they were threatened, they were intimidated and false cases were filed against those uh, lawyers. And it left no legal representation available for Chinmoy Krishna Das's uh, hearing. And this of course clearly shows once again how uh, the ISKCON seers and Hindus are being targeted one more month for uh, Chinmoy Krishna Das uh, in jail. That is, uh, of course, uh, what we understand is that uh, setback coming in and we do see that there is no support also available, no legal remedy as far as we see unavailability of uh, the lawyers uh, after they were attacked. Clearly we see uh, what's uh, being happening against Hindus. Take a listen into the reactions on that. हम आशा करते हैं कि चिन्मय कृष्णदास को न्याय मिलेगा आज हम देख रहे हैं कि बहुत दिनों से वो जेल के अंदर में हैं बहुत ही कठिन परिस्थिति में हैं लेकिन एक जो खबर मिली है कि उनके जो पिछले वकील थे रमेन रॉय उनके ऊपर लास्ट वीक में जो हमला हुआ था तो वो बहुत ही सीरियस अवस्था में है आईसीयू में है तो हम ये भी रिक्वेस्ट करते हैं बांग्लादेश गवर्नमेंट से कि जो भी चिन्मय कृष्ण प्रभु के एडवोकेट हैं या उनके उनको डिफेंड करने के लिए आ रहे हैं उनको सुरक्षा प्रदान की जाए अगर उनको सुरक्षा प्रदान नहीं की जाएगी तो हमने देखा कि लास्ट वीक उनके साथ में जो भी आया था उनके साथ खड़ा होना उनको इनके घरों पर आक्रमण हुआ उन लोगों की पिटाई हुई तो ऐसी स्थिति में कैसे उनको न्याय मिल सकता है और लोग भी उनका पक्ष में आने में डरेंगे तो इसीलिए सरकार को चाहिए कि उनके एडवोकेट को भी सुरक्षा प्रदान की जाए with all of that viewers the chorus for justice for hindus in bangladesh is only growing it's reverberating the call is reverberating from india to the west in the united states outside the white house uh, there were protests that were happening there were demonstrations that were taking place uh, against uh, what has been happening uh, or, or the atrocities that have been reported against uh, hindus in bangladesh uh, viewers we are getting in visuals uh, from uh, the white house a rally at the white house organized uh, by hindus uh, demanding release of Chinmoy Das, protection for Hindus in Bangladesh and in UK. Meanwhile, Bangladesh atrocities also reverberate in the House of Commons MP Barry Gardiner. Another MP, remember, he's the second MP uh, who has uh, raked up the atrocities against Hindu minorities in Bangladesh. Member of Parliament Preeti Patel too raised concerns over violence in Bangladesh and demanded robust action that needs to be taken to protect the life and uh, prevent violence and persecution. Take a listen into the reactions coming in.